Hey guys, Christian over at Enfit Car Stereo. Today we're in a uh, Porsche Cayenne Turbo. We just installed the Dention GW52 M01. Um, M02 is necessary if you're going to keep the changer in the trunk, but since you got to run an extension all the way from the trunk to the front, most customers bypass it. Um, I'm going to show you first the Bluetooth of it. So unit comes with Bluetooth uh, for music, which is the way most people use it. The next track, next song, everything works fine. I got multiple albums, I'm sure that was a mistake. All right. Now, uh, you can also plug it in direct. So if you go on into CD list and then go into the menu, sorry guys, I don't know how to use this radio that well. Um, see Bluetooth audio, GW auxiliary. Auxiliary is the aux that goes right here. There's a 3.5 headphone jack. I'm not gonna show you that because I think most of you guys should know what an aux is. Um, and then Bluetooth audio. iPod UI is from control from the iPod. That's where you're supposed to do your Pandora. Uh, iPod GW is where you connect direct, and then USB is if you plug in a, a USB stick into here, all right? So I'm going to plug in this, and just to show you guys, there's no, oh, this is one of those cheap, long aftermarket cable this long, I could probably do a parlor trick. Plug it in. All right, guys, sorry, I ran out of, um, memory, I had to switch a memory card. So just to show you the way it works when you're on CD, you go to CD list, uh, menu, they go into music. Now in music, you can go playlist, artist, albums, songs, genres, composers, audiobooks, podcasts. Uh, this is a playlist. Honestly, this radio is a little complicated to use this way unless you, you're super technical. Um, then you can figure it out. But, you know, like I'm going to do Vegas. All right, and then those are all the songs. This They actually have something cool in this software that just came out. Well, you see this is 8. I can hit 28. And it'll jump right to the song. That's awesome. Hit 14. Pretty cool. I don't. It's a little confusing because if I hit 30, um, it, you gotta be careful because the last one always sends you to something else. So you gotta. But it's pretty cool. All right. Um, now Pandora is not supposed to work, but it does. What I mean by that is Pandora is not supposed to show text, but because of something Apple's doing and everything, it does. So I can't do it right now. But if I hit fast forward. I gotta jump to CD1. See, it's confused because I'm in Pandora. It's not supposed to be here. Alright, first of the month by uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. That's an old school goodie. Alright, so now I'm gonna hit fast forward. And you're gonna fast forward on Pandora too. It's not supposed to work, but it does work. So it's one of those features that works, but if Apple updates something, it might not work. Um, all right. There's that customer's phone. And uh, that's pretty much it. Really, you're supposed to go into CD list and go into menu and then go into uh, CD list menu. All right, you got to hit back. Before. This thing resets after a few minutes, but if it doesn't reset, you just got to go back. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to do in uh, source. You're supposed to do iPod UI. And when you do UI, then you're supposed to control it from here and then you can do everything, but you don't get tech. So might as well use it in GW and if it, if it, if it doesn't work for you, then jump to UI. I uh, remember Apple, when you used to plug stuff in, the screen goes blank, they don't do that no more. So all this stuff was designed when the screen didn't, we used to go blank. So it, it gets confused, but. Anyway, that's it. Uh, unit works good. Uh, and that's it. Video is brought to you by nfitcarstereo.com. We sell and install. We also ship worldwide. Um, if you are a shop, we do wholesale accounts. And we also install worldwide shipping. That's it. My name is Christian, Nfitcarstereo. Thank you for watching.